Good evening, I'm Lindsay Wright. Monroe County is the latest in Indiana to have been declared a public health emergency. State Health Commissioner Jerome Adams made the declaration today in response to an outbreak of hepatitis C. The details of the needle exchange program will be left up to local officials, and those officials say the program will be a mobile service where providers go out into the community at least once a week. The declaration for public health emergency will run through December 21st of 2016. As a result of a bill passed last spring, Hoosiers can now legally buy alcohol on Christmas Day. The old law, stricter than the current Sunday alcohol restrictions, meant people couldn't even buy a drink in a restaurant. But many liquor retailers aren't planning on changing their tradition of staying closed this Friday. Even if you do find a store that's open, you might want to start planning ahead. Next year, Christmas falls on Sunday, and the long-standing law on Sunday sales still applies. The Federal Drug Administration announced new guidelines yesterday for blood donation deferrals. The FDA has lifted the lifetime ban on men who have had sex with men and now recommends a 12-month deferral since the last sexual contact with another man. Officials say the FDA's decision is merely a guideline for blood donation centers and is not absolutely required. Certain groups, however, believe this change doesn't go far enough, calling a 12-month deferral discriminatory. And now for a quick, quick check of tonight's forecast. Cloudy with a 40% chance of showers, lows in the low 50s. Looking into the five-day forecast, an 80% chance of thunderstorms tomorrow. Highs reaching in the mid-60s, a low of 50 degrees. Partly cloudy on Thursday, a high of 57. 40% chance of showers on Friday, highs in the low 50s. Look For more local news, log on to WTIUnews.org.